Winter weather has finally arrived and in this week's edition of Climate Friday newsletter, we're going to break down where we stand as far as the winter snowfall goes and also looking ahead to the weekend forecast. Will we see additional snow chances? I'm going to answer those questions, so we'll update you here in Climate Friday on where our snowfall stands for the winter. Let's jump into the graphics and break down this week's snowfall and also what lies ahead for the remainder of the winter months. During our alert day snowfall this week, we saw widespread snowfall amounts in the forecast four to seven inch snowfall range and at Toledo Express Airport our official snowfall measurement checking in at 4.6 smack dab in the middle of that range locations to the west of the Toledo Metro including Fulton County Lenaway County, Williams and Hillsdale saw seven inches, even some isolated reports coming close to the eight inch mark. Now, even with that recent snowfall, we are still well below average in the snowfall department, close to 11 inches less than where we should be. Our total winter snowfall still shy of eight inches. That's less than half where we normally would be this time in late January. Overall, our winter precipitation that includes rain is up to about five inches and we finally surpassed the above average mark typical of La Nina winters. We're now about half an inch above average in terms of our rainfall this winter. Now a couple weeks ago in Climate Friday, we were talking about how this January had the potential to be one of the least snowy on record. But of course, the system we got this week eliminates those chances. Remember 1935? That was the one that brought the least amount of snow in January. Only saw three tenths all month long. Half an inch of snowfall in 1919. That checks in at number two on the list, 0.6 in 1932 and 0.7 in 1983. Now this January, we are stacking up close to the five inch of snowfall mark. So this week's winter storm eliminated those chances of going down in the record books as the least snowy on record. Lots of snowfall reports across the Toledo Metro and southeastern Michigan, where some students enjoyed a couple snow days due to those snowfall reports. Here's a look at some snowfall measurements down towards Maumee, about three inches. And boy, was it a heavy, wet packing snow. As far as Holland and Sylvania goes, we saw about four and a half inches, which fits within the ballpark of what much of the Lucas County Toledo Metro saw. Out to the west in Swanton at the airport, four and a half inches of snow fell. Now it's areas west of Toledo that saw the brunt of the snowfall. But was there the sweet spot right across Fulton County? We saw nearly eight inches of snow in parts of central Fulton County, and that takes the cake where the heaviest snow bands set up shop. Looking across southeastern Michigan, there were also a couple reports nearing the seven inch of snowfall mark. Now, why was it such a good packing snow? Here's a little scientific explainer for you. This snow had a very high water content. In other words, if you squeeze out the snowfall, there's a fair amount of liquid and a fair amount of rainwater in there. As I mentioned, our official snowfall measurement of 4.6. If you melted that down, you would get 0.56 over half an inch of liquid rain. When you compare that ratio of liquid to snow, you get an eight to one ratio. That is some very wet, dense snow. Our normal ratio of rain to snow, that is 12 to one. So if you melted down a foot of snow, you get about one inch of rainfall. This was more dense and wet snow than usual, and that's why it was so good for packing. Now, what does the sunshine have to do with the fact that snow has melted away? Well, we are seeing more hours of daylight, and one of the reasons this snow has melted off the road so quickly is because the sunset time and the sunrise time have started to expand that daylight. Another reason the snow has melted off the roadway so efficiently has to do with the sun angle. In other words, the sun's rays are much more direct than they were a month ago. Right now, the sun is striking the Earth's surface at a 30 degree angle. And back in late December, during the darkest days of winter, the sun angle was only 25 degrees. Now we've jumped up five degrees. In other words, the rays of the sun are more direct. Now that might not seem like that big of a difference, but what it does is it causes the roadways to melt off quicker, and it also makes the road salt that crews put down more effective. As we push forward towards the spring season, the sun angle is going to get higher and higher up in the sky, and that'll continue to decrease the snow that sticks on the roadways. Sun angle increases to 46 degrees in spring, and of course, during the direct direct sunlight of the summer, 72 degree sun angle. That's one of the reasons you need to layer on the sunscreen in the summer because the sun's rays are almost directly overhead. In autumn, we're at a 48 degree angle, and that's why when we get any early season snowfall in say October or November, it 
typically melts away very, very quickly. Now, as far as this wintry weather goes, we're not in the clear just yet. January is going to end snowy. That WTOL 11 weather forecast featuring another clipper system that will roll through on Friday. This one's going to bring us some new snow accumulations in the ballpark of a dusting to one inch and could cause some minor travel disruptions. Also going to see some gusty winds at 30 to even 35 miles an hour as the wintry weather lasts into the weekend. Whatever Mother Nature has in store for January and February will keep you updated on the wintry weather that is likely to continue into the start of February and will continue to break down the latest on this winter snowfall in next week's edition of the Climate Friday Newsletter. We'll see you then.